Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and it could be that time again. DJI's upcoming event, Transform Your World, could see a brand new drone introduced to the world. It's been over a year since the Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom and is it that time? Is it drone time again? <laughs> So you can see that the announcement from DJI will be dropping in just under two days. So this is the little preview window that we have here, doesn't really give us too much, and then we can jump straight into the video here, which again doesn't really give us too much. You can see there's a cat, transform your world with a bottle, party time, like none of this really clicks with anything, it's such a tease. And then all these different locations and then boom, that's the event or the release date or the announcement, whatever you'd call it. So that's kind of all we really had, and DJI are very cryptic with their little teasers. But then all of a sudden, all of these leaks started coming out for the Mavic Mini. So this is what it looks like, and this could potentially be the next drone release from DJI. Now, from the looks of the picture here, it is a very, very tiny unit. Looks remarkably similar to the Mavic range, so it makes sense that they would release a Mavic Mini, you can see in comparison to the actual uh, wall chargers here and the little uh, cable, it's a tiny, tiny unit. And then another picture here, you can see that certain coverings aren't actually placed in, so this could have been like a really early uh, prototype, I guess you would call it. Um, you can then see here, you've actually got exposed wire, so there's a panel on either side here that's actually missing. So again, that points towards a prototype, and even down the base here, it just doesn't look very finished. This is like a very early stage prototype if this is actually uh, the upcoming product, the Mavic Mini. If you want to stay up to date with everything DJI, and especially everything Mavic Mini, then make sure to subscribe, and also click that notification bell, so that you actually get notified when I make new videos. This is a really exciting time. It's been a long time since we've seen a drone, so make sure to subscribe and keep tuned to the channel as more drone content will be coming very soon. And I've also been checking out underwater drones recently, so if that interests you, then check that out as well. This is the battery compartment right here, and it's hard to tell how big the battery's actually gonna be, but the unit itself is tiny by the looks of it, so it would have to be a very small battery system. Now, I don't know whether they're gonna target somewhere in between the Spark and the Mavic Air. It seems like it's a little smaller than the Air, but maybe a little bigger than the Spark? I don't really know based on these pictures, but if that was the case, then they would most likely be aiming for that little micro drone uh, niche within the market, um, and this could even replace the Spark. I don't know if there will be a Spark 2 at some point, but if they release the Mavic Mini, they could have like a fully fledged Mavic line then at that point, from the high grade Mavic Pro, or the Mavic 2 Pro, sorry, uh, to the Mavic Air, and then down to the Mavic Mini. It looks like it has the folding arms, as you would expect from the Mavic range. You also then also have the port down here, and a micro SD slot right here. So it looks like an interesting kind of flap design, I guess, for the battery compartment. And then this picture here really gives us a good gauge of what's going on. So we can see the two sensors down the base here. So if this is a Mavic Mini, if this is a cheaper drone, then it's likely that it will have limited sensors on it. It's not going to have anything to the extent of the Mavic Air. We couldn't even see any other sensors on any of the other pictures. Oh, there are sensors on the front here by the looks of it, just above the camera. Um, nothing on the side, so there's the front ones. Uh, I can't see any there, and then it looks like we've got the base, and then can't really see the back. Oh, here we go. So no, it doesn't look like the sensors there. So potentially just sensors on the front and underneath. And this also, this picture here gives us a interesting look at the camera system as well. So you can see it's got that usual kind of DJI design with the button and then the four LEDs. Uh, you can also see that, again, it does look like a bit of a cheap finish. So I believe if this is going to be the drone that they release, uh, they will definitely uh, polish this and it's gonna look different to this I believe it's just gonna look a lot more polished uh, all of the different covers here like these two covers 
Uh, potentially even these will have some sort of caps on, some sort of base to cover the electronics and cover whatever's going on in here. So that will come, I would imagine, with the final version. And then you can see here it's got a very similar uh, kind of catch here, I guess you'd call it, or the gimbal cover. Very similar to the Mavic Air. Now, it's hard to say, is this going to be a 3-axis gimbal? Is this going to be a 2-axis gimbal like the Spark? Are they going to make this a 4K camera, or is it only going to be 1080p? Or will they go somewhere in between and offer 2.7K? Now, it's possible, very, very possible, that for them to do 4K. We've seen the Osmo Pocket, which has a similar size camera. It can shoot 4K. So, very likely that we would say see a 4K camera. Um, it's just going to be interesting to see, because if it's 4K 30, it can't be as good as the high-end ones, obviously, because the sensors themselves are a lot better, and everything else is kind of high-end in comparison to this unit. But it's hard to say, because the Osmo Pocket is a relatively affordable unit, and it has one of the greatest cameras I've really ever used on any sort of camera system. And it's a tiny little unit. Tiny camera, tiny sensor, so it's amazing what they can do nowadays. This could have a 4K sensor on it. It could have a 4K camera, sorry. Um, who knows? Or maybe they'll uh, limit it so then it doesn't eat into the sale of other drones. You can also see that the propellers are also split. So there's like two separate spots there and they're tiny by the looks of it um, and they obviously fold as well. So that's interesting to see them designed like that. You can then see the brushless motors themselves. Um, so yeah, nothing too crazy there. When we look at the back, by the looks of it, the port and the micro SD slot will actually be available even when the battery covers down. So that's that's interesting. I don't know if there would also be a cover there as well. Um, again, you can see the exposed wire here, which would be covered with a panel. Uh, nothing else that I can really see here that's too interesting. But if they are to release a drone that's under 250 grams, then that would mean it's technically a toy and it could avoid a lot of those regulations and drone laws that are in place right now. And that's why I believe genuinely that they haven't actually released something in over a year now because it's going to be very hard to tap into certain markets and certain countries in particular with these super strict laws. But if they release a drone that's under 250 grams, then they could just get away with it. So it's hard to say right now based on any of these, but it looks tiny. Like in comparison to the wall charger, it looks absolutely tiny. So maybe it is gonna be under 250 grams. Another thing to mention is we haven't seen a controller in any of these pictures. So is it going to be similar to the Spark where they pushed it as basically just a mobile connection and then you can buy the controller as an additional add-on or will they offer a kit with a controller? Um, who knows? I'd love to know what you think in the comments below though. Is this real? Are we going to see a Mavic Mini in the coming days or not? What do you think? Does this look pretty legit to you? It's hard to say, but if you even look here and zoom in, that's not working. <laughs> if you click on the picture and then zoom in, you can see it's got all the DJI logo here. It's got DJI even on the charging kit. It looks pretty legit. It just doesn't look as polished as you'd expect, but obviously that would be fixed. Oh, there's a little side. That wouldn't be a side sensor, I don't think, would it? I don't even know. Maybe that's just a panel that they haven't covered. Although it kind of does look like a side sensor. That's interesting. Again, hard to say. There's another DJI component. There's the adapter power. Does it say anything on here about mini? No, nothing on there. Right. Very, very interesting. I don't know how legit this is. It's hard to say right now. But certain things don't feel 100% DJI. Like these little screws here. And obviously the build itself, just it's hard to say from a picture. Um, but I think we would see like more of a polished version of it. I don't know if they'd keep this propeller design when it's a finalized product. But... In this state, it doesn't feel 100% like a DJI product, but hopefully this is real, and hopefully this is an early prototype, and hopefully we will see this very, very soon. Uh, but that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a fantastic day. Come back to the channel to see what happens in the coming days. If you do subscribe, then hit that notification button up. 
to make sure that you are notified when new videos get posted on the channel. Have a fantastic day. Peace out.